In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful four arrow infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this kind of arrow with different color shades. You can add the title, the detailed text, and you can add some animated icons to it. So with the different color combination, I have used the option two, three, and four. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes from the rectangles choose this rectangle draw a small rectangle maybe this much size and then go to the insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the shape which is called the trapezoid select the trapezoid just draw the trapezoid and then go to rotate i'm going to make it rotate left 90 degrees and give some different color here and here also i'm going to give or oh, let it be the same color so now bring this exactly on top of this so let me just zoom in you can see here shape outline you can make it no outline for this also make it no outline and when you click on this particular shape you can see the small orange point just drag this outside you can see here like this and increase the size from the top you can see something like this again if you like to reduce the width it's up to you but this is what it has to be okay so make sure that this is it has to connect to this particular edge all right if you want to increase the size you can simply increase it so once this is done what i'm going to do next is i'm going to add one more shape i'm just going to duplicate and before that again if you want to increase the size you can increase it so now select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give some different color here somewhat darker and then you can rotate it either you can use the this particular arrow to rotate or you can just alt and the right arrow key also you can click it okay and once that is done exactly place it on top of this all right again if you want to increase the size you can simply increase it but I'm going to keep the same thing here so you can see here make sure that it is properly aligned not something like this there's a gap over here don't do that kind of mistakes all right so once that is done I'm going to cut this particular part for that go to insert shape select one rectangle draw the rectangle exactly from the corner select this shape first hold the shift key select this one merge shape make it subtract so we end up getting a shape which looks something like this then go to the insert shapes i'm going to select the triangle here just draw the triangle all right and i'm going to again alt and the right arrow key one two three four five six maybe six times you need to just press it and put it here all right again give the same color if you want and make sure that it should be no outline right so once this is done what you can do is you can give your own uh, custom color so for example i'm going to select this one and i'm going to give some dark colors i can use any theme which is available here for example let me just choose this uh, kind of uh, this color which is purple dark purple i'm just going to click that one select this one now the second in the line which is i'm going to make it somewhat lighter and these two shapes i'm going to group it first okay either you can merge it or you can group it so if you want to make it union so it becomes one shape here all right and then for this i'm going to give more lighter color so it looks something like this all right once this is done i'm going to select all of this press ctrl g to group it bring it down all right again if you feel that the size is bigger you can hold the shift key and reduce the size it's up to you all right now once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert one more rectangle from here you can see here and bring it down till the center all right and then shape outline make it no outline and you can give some different color and send this to back the one thing which i would like to do here is i would like to just change the background color for this 
you can see the format background i'm going to give somewhat gray color and this one i'm going to give a shape fill which is white color here so it looks something like this so once this is done i'm going to select all these objects press ctrl g to group it make sure it is properly aligned and then hold the ctrl shift key and just drag this up and then i'm going to rotate this one you can see here i'm going to make it flip horizontal and put it here exactly then i'm going to select both the shapes okay and hold the ctrl shift key and just drag this up you can see here now you can see here the shape is going out so i can what i can do is i can select all these four shapes press ctrl g to group it you can see here let me just and then i can reduce the size you can see here with the help of by holding the shift key you can just drag it how much you want okay and then right mouse click group and you can ungroup it so once this is done the next thing which we would like to do is we would like to give some different colors here again to give some different colors you have to ungroup it to ungroup you can hold the ctrl shift and g to ungroup this one again here also this is group hold the ctrl shift g and ungroup this now i'm going to give some different colors only for this go to the shape format again i'm going to make it maybe a blue so i'm going to use this turquoise color the darker one at the bottom then comes somewhat lighter and then comes more lighter shade here you can see here for this also i can just do the same way here all right so i can just select this one give some different color maybe i'm going to give it the dark green then the lighter shade and more lighter shade here all right so for this also let me just do quickly so again ctrl shift g to ungroup so here i would like to give a maybe kind of a gray color so darker gray a lighter one and at the top more lighter color all right so once this is done again you can select each of these and you can group it so you can see here this this and this press ctrl g to group it and again if you want to group this also you can group. so let me just do this one select by holding the shift key and group it so once this is done the next thing which you can do is you can add some text so for that go to insert text box i'm going to insert the title here title here or i can just put zero one title here make it bold all right and put it here and you can give the same color what the color which we have used here for example let me just go and give uh, the same color or you can just it's up to you okay so let me just give the black only here and then go to the insert text box i'm going to type equals lorem within bracket one some kind of text latin text it gives i don't want this much large text reduce the font size maybe to 12 and put it here all right so now i'm going to select this both press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to bring it here all right and again press ctrl d to duplicate and bring this one only thing is you have to make it a right aligned okay so now i'm going to bring this here align it and this one a little bit inside all right then again press ctrl d and align it here properly so this is one this is two this is option number three and this is option number four the next thing which you can do is you can go and insert icons you can click here insert and you can click the insert icons i have used a website called flaticons.com and for this i have used this animated you can see here this animated icons i can simply copy and i can just paste over here align it properly you can see here so it looks something like this and if you want to do some basic animations you know you can just add those animation effects to this particular slide 